Archurian Group, February 13, 2017. Via Marilyn Raffaele. Webpage, www.onenessofall.com. Dear Ones, we wish to express our congratulations for the courage you hold in the face of many issues appearing to be in opposition to the peace and harmony you were expecting. Never doubt that what you are witnessing is the necessary process of a world waking up. There remain those who require powerful experiences in order to wake up or even move a little beyond complacency. Many remain stuck in the glue of illusion. The true essence of every individual is divine, regardless of how they may act or what they believe themselves to be. Everyone living on earth has chosen to experience a sense of separation in order to re-remember oneness. However, along the way of lifetimes, many got lost in the experiences of separation and became hypnotized inadvertently, creating a collective consciousness of duality and separation, the third dimensional belief system. Observe and give gratitude for everything for you are bearing witness to the awakening of the masses and the disintegration of the old. It is what mankind has desired and brought into manifestation. Those living with closed eyes are beginning to open them, and those with already open eyes are seeing more clearly. However, be alert to any judgments you may hold with regard to how the awakening process must appear. Now is a powerful time to be living on earth dear ones for the light and assistance, coming from the other side has never been more intense or available to the masses. Know that you chose to take advantage of these times in order to personally evolve, and then assist others through your work, words, or by simply holding the light. It is time to once again discuss power. All fear is based in the belief that something has power over something else, be the body, germs, laws, persons, circumstances of all kinds, or even a god of judgment looking down on you from on high. Fear comes naturally to humans because having lived lifetimes fully enmeshed in duality and separation, all have been well educated by their experiences. Fear still held in cellular memory will continue to express throughout lifetimes until cleared, manifesting for no seeming reason and with no apparent cause. You are ready to realize and embrace the fact that the new times are already here, not coming in the future. It is time to accept that false concepts and beliefs no matter how familiar, must be left behind if you are to evolve further, much as a child leaves behind his toys when he matures. You have evolved beyond the need to continue seeking and searching, or depending upon tools for awakening, you have arrived. Through lifetimes of learning experiences, some good and some not so good, you have finally arrived at the more evolved part of your journey which involves the process of disengaging from a third dimensional belief system and all its seeming powers if you are to reclaim and move into your own power as a spiritual expressions. All there is is one and you can call that one anything you wish. Because there is only one of it, whatever it is. Thus this, it, must be the only law, reality, cause, source, and substance etc., complete and whole and end as itself. In reality, there is no way anything could have power over you, because you already are the embodiment of the one and only power there is. That is, unless you don't believe it. This means that anything external seeming to have power over you, must be illusory. Illusions are mind formed, taking place within minds conditioned by beliefs of good and evil, duality and separation. Because there is only one, all see the same pictures. Manifestations of the third dimensional belief system reflect either fear or happiness, duality. Know that good appearances are just as illusory as the bad ones. This is how it works for everyone because there is only one, until an individual chooses to come out from under the umbrella of the collective illusion begin his journey into freedom. Only one power is the absolute, 
but to pretend to that state of consciousness before it is attained is very human. Do not rush out into busy traffic shouting, God is the only power, nothing can kill me, because an intellectual knowledge of truth doesn't make it true for you. Knowing an absolute truth is the first step, followed by the practice and integration of it until it becomes an attained state of consciousness and can be lived easily without effort. Never beat yourselves up, or rigidly resist some fear that may still seem to have power over you. Every human still carries but is now clearing old cellular memory from fearful experiences of the past. Long buried fears often manifest when clearing, so if this happens do not panic, claim it back in as your personal fear, or see it as something to get rid of, simply allow it to flow through and out. Generally when emotions of fear, anger, frustration, etc. arise, just allow them while loving yourself and recognizing that they are guiding you toward a deeper examination of your belief system, what am I believing that is making me feel this way? Is it true? Begin to recognize and practice oneness, knowing that if there is only one, then nothing can exist outside of that one. In one divine consciousness, there is only completeness, harmony, peace, joy, abundance because that one is self-sustained and self-maintained with nothing to be in opposition to it, unless you believe there is. When individuals disengage from giving power to the external, fear and other negative emotions begin to simply fade away, because the only thing holding them in place was a belief in them. This does not mean the whole world is going to be immediately free, but as you become free, your light in turn automatically adds more light to the collective, because there is only, one. Light is how higher frequencies are perceived with the eye, but energy can be felt on all levels. The lower and slower vibrations feel heavy and dense, and are easily felt in certain places. Places you usually want to leave soon after entering even though others may not even notice. The higher frequencies of unconditional love and truth appear as bright and clear light and are experienced as joy, peace, harmony. The more aware you become of who and what you are the brighter and more refined your energy field becomes. This is why angels and ascended beings are seen as light and is why saints are always portrayed with halos which reflect the high vibrating energy field of an evolved consciousness. We tell you this because more and more of you are beginning or will soon begin to see and hear higher dimensional energies and beings. As one's energy field becomes more refined, there gradually unfolds the ability to align with like energies within the higher dimensions energies which up to now you have only been able to read about, believing them to be separate and unapproachable, which is the case when you are unable to align with them. The ability to rest in truth despite circumstances is what dissolves appearances. Everything you become aware of, is in reality a spiritual idea within the one divine consciousness, remember it is all there is, and therefore there can be nothing separate from the one. How truth is understood depends entirely upon the state of consciousness of the individual which in the beginning simply reflects the collective belief system. Divine reality never changes, held in place by divine law. It just is. How it is understood and lived depends upon how completely one's mind and avenue of awareness is conditioned and programmed. For example, Violence toward others is in reality a low resonating interpretation of the constant flow of energy that takes place between all within the one. When this energetic connectedness is interpreted through a mind heavily programmed by a consciousness of separation, it expresses outwardly as low resonating, distorted, and hypnotized forms, that the perpetrator unconsciously believes offers solutions. Every individual regardless of where they may be in their evolutionary journey, seeks peace and love because peace and love is the true nature of every soul. However, how each strives to achieve that peace and love is individual. 
even the murderer believes he is making things better in some way. The desire for self-empowerment has woken, but for most is still being sought through three-dimensional solutions. However this is as it needs to be right now, for many are just beginners on the path toward self-empowerment. You are going to find yourselves very busy very soon for the many now awakening are going to be drawn to your light seeking to know what you know. This is why so many of you have gone through so much yourselves up to now, you have been preparing. Stay centered in each now moment, holding to truth in spite of what outer appearances may be knocking at the door of your consciousness for admittance. The light of truth is held in place by divine law whereas illusions are only held by the belief in them. Higher frequencies always supersede and dissolve the lower, which is how you are assisting the world to evolve. Because you have chosen to assist the world's awakening and are ahead of the masses in awareness, it may seem at times as if you are alone, not being listened to or even respected by those around you still convinced that the three-dimensional world is the only reality. If this happens to you resist the temptation to defend yourself and simply smile, remembering that life on earth is not about overcoming one power with another through words or actions but is instead a journey of awakening into the realization of one power. What about death? You need to ponder this. Does or can anyone ever really die? Every one of you as well as everyone else on earth has done it hundreds of times. There is no death, period. This is true for animals as well, they too evolve. It is a new time, the old is finished, but is refusing to go without a great deal of kicking and screaming. Rest is what is in spite of all appearances. Do whatever you are guided to do, be it signing a petition, or marching, or simply quietly holding the light. Whatever you choose to do must carry the intention of helping awaken others to their own innate power and not simply be a resistance to some external power. Intention is a subtle but powerful energy that is involved with every action you take from the smallest decisions to largest. Always ask yourself, what is my intention? If your intention is to resist something you believe to be a power over you, you are an old energy. If your intention is to become more self-empowered or help others to also become that, then your actions will be carried on high frequency of light. Intention sets the energy for all actions and words, no matter how seemingly trivial. Actions may look the same to observers, but will flow with an energetic vibration capable of lifting anyone receptive if done from a consciousness of truth and empowerment. The awakened ones are the way showers, endure them. We are the Arcturian group.